Hey everybody, how you all doing? And uh, I'm back with a special movie review. Yes, uh, for the first time in almost two years, I, I'm finally doing a movie review. Yes, since the pandemic hit, I, we couldn't go out. So last night, Kim and I saw, of course, Jungle Cruise. Uh, so yeah, I just want to get out this quick quick review uh, real quick before I forget. Uh, so I just want to talk about it. But I'm just really happy, besides the fact that we're that we, now we can go back to seeing movies for now. Of course, I'm hoping, knock wood, of course, I'm sitting at the, uh, at the, off, at the office desk in, in the corner. But anyway, um, uh, what can I say about this movie? Wait, both of us wanted to see this because it's, it's Dwayne Rock Johnson, of course. Uh, both of us love him, uh, and of course, uh, she also likes Emily Blunt. So uh, yeah. So what can I say about there? So you have got two of the best talents working on this movie, and uh, what can I say? Uh, this was a very fun, entertaining movie, and like, um, but my question was, was how do you turn a popular ride like the Jungle Cruise in Magic Kingdom into a movie? And sure enough, sure enough, I think they I think they kind of did, did it the way you expected. It was uh, I don't want to give much away, which was oh the things things thing is just like a ride, like everything's all animatronic kind of thing. I think they kind of both made fun of the ride, but then they decided to go a little deeper. I love the fact that oh let's make this an adventure. Let's add some dark voodoo and a curse, and of course something along the Amazon that that would make things uh, you know more realistic. I kind of like the story of, oh, oh, Conquistadors, yeah, makes uh, makes a shit ton of sense. I really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, I think it really worked. I think uh, my one problem with this was it was starting to feel way too much like um, Pirates of the Caribbean with the oversaturation of special effects. But I also felt like I think they were going back to the World War II uh, Nazis being enemies because because um, I'm noticing a trend between this the Rocketeer and, a, and another Disney movie is that, like, wait a minute, man, man, Disney was really anti, uh, anti, was it really against the Nazis? And of course, can you blame them? Yes, the Nazis are evil, of course. I don't want to get, get into semantics and politics right now, but you get the point. So, yeah, I felt like that was clever, like, but, and the fact that they set the movie, like, but like around World War One, I, I think that kind of brings a little bit of sense of adventure. And I definitely will harken back to those old adventure serials, kind of just like Indiana Jones. I was getting a bunch of Indiana Jones vibes just watching this. Uh, and of course, uh, yeah, I, I was I, I was starting to get the sense of adventure. This is what we missed. The adventure adventure genre kind of was it was, was missing, and this is what it was missing the most. So yeah, but between this and like say Treasure of Sierra Madre, but of course it's no Treasure of the Sierra Madre. I'll tell you that. But this is fun. This is was fine for what it's worth. Like I think feel like that they put enough into this movie to make it just be a one movie deal because um you can, because I felt like okay there's st I was kind of expecting more but then again I think one movie is fine. If you get they were going to add sequels then you're just killing the magic. So I'm glad that they just did what they could. Um. But yeah, uh, yeah, not much else I can say. Uh, this cast was great. I kind of marked out a little bit for Paul Giamatti. I was like, like, oh crap! I'm like, look at this cast. I'm like, you got some really good people here. Uh, not just Emily Blunt and Dwayne Rock Johnson. Yeah, got could be a Jack Whitehall. You got Paul Giamatti. You got you got all these other interesting characters and actors to really bring this movie together and break, break it down to earth and give it some personality. I really enjoyed it. And, like, location, pretty cool. Uh, yeah. I Yeah. Like, now I really want to go back uh, on the Jungle Cruise again. You know, like, you know, like, uh, you know, in Walt Disney World because I really enjoyed it. Enjoyed that uh, ride because we're not, it was like a tradition for my family and I. If we were going to go to Walt Disney in World or Land, we have to do the Jungle Cruise because cause it's nice and calm and relaxing. Um, and of course, obviously, it obviously gives us a chuckle because we all know it's animatronic animals like in that, on that ride. But, but yeah, I'm glad they turned, made, made this into something better. And of course, I, I really enjoyed it. So, but my my one last thing I did not like was there was a really moment. There was a moment that took me out of it that made it super unrealistic. And of course, and of course, Mike Kalen just said, "Hey, it's magic, it's Disney." I'm like, "Yeah, I get, but still, um, fiscally, this what this kind of stunt would not happen." I don't want to give much away. If if you've seen the John Cruise movie already, you know what I'm talking about. It's the it's the sub scene, like like sub getting washed in the air. Like there's like absolutely. I mean the ship going through the air. Like 
it's it's not physically possible. You would have to it would have to be as light as a feather. That had to weigh at least three tons. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, that's the only bit of unreal, unrealistic thing that kind of took me out of it. But other than that, this was a fine adventure movie. Does I like it? And does it hold up to any other adventure movies? I don't know. Maybe over time it will grow and be on the same level, like say, like in Indiana Jones or The Rocketeer or or maybe even Sahara. Well, I don't know about that, but I, I'm just throwing, I'm just spitballing some other other you know adventure movies, even Treasure. Of the, but of course, you can't touch the magic that is, of course, the Indiana Jones movies and the Sierra, Treasure of the Sierra Madre epic. All right. So with that in mind, I'm gonna give Jungle Cruise. I'm gonna give it a. Seven and a half out of ten. That's as best I'm gonna get. All right. So that does it for a night. If you've ha or have seen the Jungle Cruise, I want to hear your thoughts about it. Other than that, that does it for a night. Thumbs up the video, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for some more awesome and exciting videos.